Hi, Theo here from electroeffects.com on behalf of ovo.cz. In this video we will be looking at professional Renko charting software and I'm going to demonstrate how to install and use it. If you'd like to follow along then go and grab yourself a free trial at ovo.cz and while you're there you should also grab the free Omnia Remote and Omnia Auto Range indicators so I'm also going to show you how they work. Both the trial and the full versions of this Renko charting software are the same file. So once your trial period expires, you simply enter a license key and you can keep on using it. The free trial period is 15 days and then every 90 days you will get another 15 day trial. Just in case you're revisiting the Renko after taking some time away from it. If you've already purchased a license key, then get that email handy because I will quickly show you activation. And it's also worth mentioning at this stage that a license for this software is included with VIP membership at electroeffects.com. Now with the software downloaded and your MetaTrader platform open, we can install the indicators. And I'm going to go here to File, Open Data Folder. And this is going to open up for you the location that this instance of MetaTrader is looking to for the files. The location will not be the same for everybody. It certainly won't look like that. The only important thing is that you go File, Open Data Folder. MQL4 and then indicators and this is where you need to place your software. So I've already done that. If you were doing this for the first time then just paste your indicators into this folder and you can shut that down. Then we're going to go to navigator and in the indicators tree here you just right click and hit refresh and then the indicators that we've downloaded are visible. If you hover your mouse over these indicators, it will show you the version number. So it's just one way of doing that. And before we get started, you're going to want to go to Tools, Options. And in the Expert Advisors tab, just make sure that you select Allow DLL Imports. Okay, That just does it globally, so you don't have to do it on a case-by-case -case basis. Once that's done, if you go to the Charts field, MetaTrader Max Bars in Chart is always quite low when you first install MetaTrader. So you're going to want to increase that. I usually just go for 380,000 bars because 380,000 one minute bars is over a year and it would be over five years on the M5 and so on and so forth. So that seems plenty to me, but that's just my opinion. You can raise that number as you see fit. By clicking OK, we can move on and you're going to now want to go to File, New Chart and just open up a chart. I'll use the Euro Dollar for this example. This particular offline charting generator software is able to run on any standard time frame. So you don't actually have to run it on M1 like much of the competition. You can run this on any of these. Okay, I'm going to use M1. It's just a habit. I've been using these offline charts for many years. And now we can grab the Renko bar or the Renko no wick bar. So you've got a choice of pure Renko blocks or pure Renko blocks with wicks which are much more popular but you know the options there for your particular taste if I take the Renko bar indicator now I can drag it onto the chart or I can just double click it and this window will open in the about tab you'll get the version number and some information in the common tab this is where you would need to select allow DLL imports if we didn't make that previous step in the Inputs tab, you're going to want to set your brick size, and this is in points, not pips. So this 100 number is 10 pips, that's 10.0, and it's not 100, okay? Points, not pips. The Output Offline time frame is one that you can just leave blank and it will choose for you, or you can assign it a number. If we assign this a 10, so that, you know, M10 for the 10-pip Renko, the M variable is used and we get the M10. If we'd like it to be H10 or D10, we would have to specify that H or that D, otherwise it defaults to M. So I'll just use the number 10 and that'll be an M10. The number of candles is set to 1000 by default. That's enough to fill up any high definition monitor these days. But if you want more history on your chart, you're gonna to have to increase that number. The session control allows you to keep the chart continuous or break it into sessions and We'll uh, take another look at that a little bit later on. I'm going to keep it continuous for now. Paste activation code here, very self-explanatory. If you have a license key, this is where you'll paste it. If you leave it blank, you're going to now start a free trial. 
If you do have a license key, then you will have received an email that looks something like this. Um, your license key obviously won't be XXXXX, it'll be something that looks more like a key. You can just copy it, come into here and paste that in. You'll only have to do this one time and that will assign the software to your machine. You won't have to do that again. It's a one-time deal. I'm just going to remove that for now. And this last variable, the author has instructed me, is, is really not that important to anybody. Uh, just something that he's added recently. So once that's done, you just click OK. And as you see, I have not registered this software to this machine just yet. And it says free evaluation and gives me a date when that expires. If I do activate the software, it will say registered to my email address. And um, if there is an update available for the software, it will let me know in this system message area. Okay, so if there is an update available and you want to update the software, you're just going to go to File, Open Data Folder, MQL4 Indicators. This is where we need to paste the new updated files. But before I do, I'm going to need to shut down MetaTrader because you know we actually have the software running. So I'm going to shut that down. I'll go to the latest version of the files that I've, I've downloaded and I'm going to copy that in there. And we're just going to make sure that we overwrite everything, copy and replace. Once that's done, you can go back to the MetaTrader and just launch it one more time. Now that MetaTrader is up and running again, you can see we're back where we started. The red X removes the indicator from the chart. It's just a slightly easier way than doing it than you know going into the indicators list and removing it. So a little bit of uh, flow. The M10 button will actually launch our offline chart, but I won't do that just yet. And here we can control the brick size remotely. So I could change it to a, a 20 pip, 200 point uh, block chart instead. So I'll put it back to 100 though for now, like so. And you just hit enter, and that updates the chart. Now, by clicking this M10 button, the chart is launched. And if I apply a simple template like so, we can take a look at the Renko with Wix. A cool little feature is if you name your template offline, then whenever you create and open one of these charts, it will apply the offline template automatically. Okay, I've just done it manually this time. And just to show you the difference between the Renko with and without Wix, I mean, obviously it's self-explanatory, but we'll add the no Wix bar to the chart, all the same stuff. We'll call it uh, an M11 instead and we'll leave everything else default. So once I click OK as you can see that new chart has been generated and also as you can see you can apply as many instances of these generators as you like. Your only limitation is the screen size that you have and I highly doubt you're going to need to fill that up. So uh, really you can use them as you wish. If I now open up an M11 and I can apply that simple template and we'll just put them side by side so we can take a look. Okay, there we go. We have the Renko with Wix and the Renko with out Wix. So the Renko no Wix bar on the bottom, the Renko bar on the top. Okay, now the following features will work on either of these charts. So I'll just shut one down and I can actually remove it from the M1 like that with the button. And if we take a look at this chart, you can now apply the Omnia remote. Two options in the Omnia remote to you know, see or not see the, the server clock and to mark unreliable chart parts or not. And we'll talk a little bit about that in a second. So I click OK. I can see some unreliable chart parts over here because you've got the gray background. We'll take a look at that in a sec. The clock is on the bottom right and if you don't want these unreliable chart parts marked, you could just switch that off like so. Just like you could switch the clock off if you don't need to see that. The other option here is to split the chart into sessions, which is what we were talking about a moment ago. And then you can bring the feed chart to the front, go back to the M10 using these buttons. Now clearly you can do that with MetaTrader tabs, but if you had lots of charts open, it might be easier to navigate with these buttons. It's just some nice flow. Just like before, you can control the size remotely. I could switch this to a 20 pip, 200 point bar uh, on the fly. 
and we'll just switch back to 100 right now. Okay, now we had that unreliable chart part. If you open the regular properties of an M of a MetaTrader chart and switch on period separators, it's going to break your uh, chart into days. So each day is one of these period separator lines. If I switch the session control on, then it's going to reset the Renko generation to the beginning of each day. And as you can see, this was over the weekend. There's a gap in the market here, so there wasn't enough data for the indicator to actually create bars, and that is why it marked it out as an unreliable chart part. Now, if you're using this indicator in real time, no matter what size Renko bar you're using, there will be no unreliable chart parts. It's only if you've shut MetaTrader down and you're restarting it after a while, the maximum amount of history that the software can see is the M1 chart. So if there's not enough clear data on it to create the chart 100% accurately, that is when unreliable chart parts get marked out. Okay, now I don't actually use the session control myself. I prefer to just have it uh, smoothly. Essentially what you're doing here is you're switching on a new anchor point every day for the chart to start from and, and move to the right. If you switch it off, then the anchor point is the furthest bar to the left of the chart. Okay, so that is that. I'll just switch those off. Okay, the final piece of freeware that you can use that you may find useful is the Omnia Auto Range. And what you're doing here is trying to determine the size of bar to use based on how this particular pair is moving. Uh, some people just use the same block size on every pair. This clearly doesn't make a lot of sense to me because each pair moves at a different pace, it moves at a different magnitude, and they should each be treated separately. But what you can do here is just use a piece of software and you can tell it how far back you'd like it to look to start calculating averages. I'm gonna use 28,800 because that's actually four times five trading days, about a month of minutes. So I've got 28,800, which is a month. I'm gonna tell it I want this checked once a day, so 1,440 minutes. And I'd like the average pip movement of every 30 minutes, okay? And we multiply that by whatever you want. If I leave it to one, it's just now giving me the average 30 minutes of pip movement over the past month, and it'll refresh that information once a day. So I click OK. As you can see it's 12.1 pips is the average 30 minute bar basically over the past month and now we've sort of quantified what kind of Renko we're dealing with, what kind of trade speed uh, we're dealing with also. Okay so a lot of uh, options there within that one indicator so you can play around with that and make the chart fit your trading style, you know the speed that you like to trade at. And if you have any questions about anything, just post it in the comments below this video and we'll get back to you as soon as we can.